I'm definitely in the overreaching phase. Every set, I feel like I'm gonna die. And I look like death, so that makes sense. Alright guys, Coach David. Part 9 of my prep for the Lake Pleasant Classic USA Powerlifting Meet. And I am BF. Arizona State Championships. Alright, and what you just saw there was my personal map for my programming for this meet. And that's typically what I do for myself and all my athletes. I'll just lay it out, map it out, and then put it into a, a sheet for everyone. So this is squats, um, 305 for 6 sets of 3 reps. Currently 2 weeks out from the meet, so this is the last little chunk of the overreaching phase. <laughs> trying to eke out the last little bit of intensity and volume so again everything feels extremely heavy but moving decent uh, this week is kind of interesting just because of the schedule at the beginning of the week like I said I had a carryover squat in a Monday and I carried what typically would be uh, volume or hypertrophy bench press um, over and this is actually my strength day for bench last few weeks I've just been trying to really narrow down my competition style like self cues making sure everything's working properly talking to myself speaking of which I literally had to talk to myself every set of these which is funny because it's, it's actually a very light weight for what I've been doing That's that. Yeah, and moving on to strength bench. This is my single at 205. Because of the way I was feeling and because of my energy levels, I actually reduced my um, set weight. I was basing my percentages off of on bench from 232 to 225. And I'm really glad I did it because had I been roughly about five pounds much more than these, I would have absolutely gotten pinned. So this is 200 for seven sets of two. And one thing I was, or challenge I was dealing with the last meet was because I've lost weight everywhere. I've also lost weight in my butt, so my butt came off the bench like the last meet, so I've been focusing on really pinning it down, making sure it doesn't go anywhere, driving off my, my hips and my glutes. Alright, and this is the following day today. Um, here's my warm-up, just something quick. A lot of people end up taking too much time and too, spending too much energy on their warm-up, so this is just something I use to Get my back nice and warm, my hips firing, glutes firing, rotator cuffs, uh, then got my leg swings for my hips, get them moving. For all those that are currently in contest prep, this is actually, or in prepping for a meet, this is really important, making sure you stay mobile. As I said a few weeks ago, I was at, actually experiencing a lot of tightness in my hamstrings, so in the hole. I would actually, uh, in squats, I would my hamstrings would roll over, and I felt it, and it was pretty painful. So, since I've stepped up my warm-up game, it's helped a lot. <laughs> and this is the third day in a row doing a leg movement. We're using my legs, so quads are pretty tight. So make sure I hit those. Well, out the hammies. I also hit my back and. Um, lower back, low lumbar, and lats. Two weeks out, the last thing I want to do is have something stupid happen, so knock on wood. Warming up is extremely important. 
not necessarily stretching, I hate stretching cold. There's some skips. I hate stretching pre-workout. Alright, and then here are my deadlifts from today. This is 340 for five sets of three. So last week my single at 390 moved really quickly. And this is 50 pounds less and these felt just as heavy. So again everything's on right on the schedule. I had felt like this three or four weeks ago, I would have been concerned, but it's all according to plan. Then this is my last set. By the way, not only am I in the overreaching phase, I'm feeling flat as a pancake as far as my pumps are concerned in the gym. Alright, then off the glute hand raises. These have been kind of my bread and butter for hamstrings. I found that uh, stiff leg deadlifts were, at this point in the game, were just a little too taxing on my lower back. I am squatting three times a week and deadlifting twice a week. And then I superseted those with the isolated dumbbell rows again. Doing it. Oh, there you get a shot of my marked up ribs from my belt. Uh, and then again doing this movement to keep stress off my lower back. My clients who have had any type of injury to the lower back or just tightness in general, I'll typically throw these in and slowly incorporate lower back movements and eventually just end up doing some bent over dumbbell or barbell rows and then capping off the workout is some lat push downs like I had in a couple of videos ago and then I superseded these with tricep push downs I'm trying to get my cardio in right after my workout lately so Super set everything, kind of cut down on some of the time. Alright, guys, that's it for this one. Thank you.